Hello fellow Norfolk Islanders. My name is Wally Beedman and I'm standing as an independent for the next election of the Norfolk Island Government. I'd like to just uh, tell you initially there's a few things that I firmly believe in and one of those is that uh, Norfolk Island should be a self-governing governing external territory of Australia. The second thing I believe in is that the Australian Government wants us to retain self-government too. They, they know we're an innovative people, they know we're resourceful and they, they know we've done reasonably well for, for the past 30 years in self-government. And I don't think they want to take that away because it'll cost them a lot more uh, uh, with the alternative. I think the third thing that's very important is I think this community and the Australian Government want a new partnership for the future, one that will underpin the Norfolk Island community for years to come. Let me just say now what, what are some of the things I believe in. And the first thing is that the economy of Norfolk Island is paramount. We must build the economy, not just with tourism, but in other ways as well. But firstly, with tourism. I remain committed to tourism reform that has been underway for the last two years or so. Reform based in new markets, reform based in a new brand for Norfolk Island, which will raise our image as a desirable place to have a holiday. Uh, reform based in new products, based in ecotourism and nature, that will bring more visitors here and delight them to have a holiday on Norfolk Island. But I don't think tourism is sufficient anymore. I think we need to use the broadband assets that we have as an island and make that available to the private sector so that they can innovate and create new industries because I believe broadband technology is the highway to a new future for industry, opportunity and jobs on Norfolk Island. The government has a significant role to play in broadband technology. Not only does it need to give access to the assets that it has, like the copper cable in the ground and what's coming up with SPIN, but it also needs to take a lead role in ensuring that people in, Nor in the Norfolk Island community are educated in the art of the possible with this new technology so they can use it in their existing businesses and actually think about how they can use it to create new opportunities for themselves and for this community. I think the third part of our, of our economic equation is a new relationship with Australia and particularly a new financial relationship. As I've said, I don't believe the Australian government wants to take away self-government. But I think it's time that we came up with a new financial arrangement where we remit some of our monies, our locally raised taxes into the Australian system and we get access to their program grants in education, health, social welfare, tourism and infrastructure because there is no, it's no longer possible for, for such a small community to raise all the money that it needs to raise to do all of the things that a modern community demands of their government. There are many other areas, but I don't have time today to talk about too many of them, but just let me address a few of them. Immigration is the first one. We need to use immigration as a driver of the economy, and in doing that, we need to be very targeted about how we go and grow our population through immigration. We need to seek professionals who want to see change. We need to go after the self-funded retirees because this is a great place for them to come and live and invest their money. And we need to be very proactive about going and getting these people. It's no longer satisfactory for us to actually have immigration quotas without going out and actively pursuing people to come and live on Norfolk Island. In fact, we should go after them with the same rigour we do um, as getting visitors to come to, the, to Norfolk Island. Education. Uh, the most important investment a government can make in its community is education. And I would, I would not um, st stand for taking away years 11 and 12. In fact, I think we should do more with education and actually get into tertiary education on Norfolk Island. And we should use some of this broadband technology that's, uh, that we have today and we'll have more of in the future to use that as a means of getting into tertiary education and lifelong learning. And we need to, as a matter of urgency, have more people um, using the Norfolk language and we should use uh, some of our education resources to 
make those who call Norfolk home, irrespective of where they've come from, to be able to talk, converse and engage with visitors using our uh, Norfolk language. The public service, um, we're asking tourism to reform and do more. Uh, the public service needs to play, play again, its, its role in a better Norfolk Island as well. And that reform needs to be based in a thorough understanding about what is the role of the public service for a more, a more modern Norfolk Island, and particularly what is its role in relationship to the, the private sector. In helping um, the public service provide greater advice to government and to help create new industries, I think it's time we have an Office for Economic Development within government to actually uh, promote Norfolk to other, other people, bring more industry here and diversify our, our economy. Lastly, but not least, uh, our culture. Uh, it is so important that um, it's one of those assets that you must invest in. Uh, all assets must be, otherwise they wither and die, and culture is no different. We do have a wonderful culture. Some might not agree that we have one, but there's no doubt we do, and it deserves to be invested in. So I will be very active in, in, uh, in the next three years to ensure that we start building a cultural centre for all of the Norfolk Island people uh, in Norfolk Island. In summary, I believe we have a, we have a wonderful future. Uh, I firmly believe that what you wish for, you get. If you're going to think negative all the time, then you'll get negative outcomes. If you're going to think positive, then you'll get positive outcomes. And if you, if you match our positive outcomes with a philosophy for being very solutions focused, then anything's possible on Norfolk Island and that's where I think we are. Anything is possible. Thank you very much and all the best.